Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today we are doing the finale for my Ditch the Discontinued Project Pan. If you are unfamiliar, if you have never tuned into one of these videos before, hi, hello. Um, first of all, I am apparently the most flighty YouTuber ever. I just like disappear for weeks at a time. So thank you for bearing with me. Second, um, if you are unfamiliar with this project pan, this is a project pan centered around dis discontinued products. So products that are either limited edition, you can't get your hands on anymore, or like they were staple products that got discontinued, like, and they're no longer like anywhere. Um, maybe like a reseller sells them, but you can't buy like a brand new one from like Sephora, Ulta, the brand's website, anything like that, you could find it. Maybe you could find them at TJ Maxx though, because the, sometimes they yoink them off the shelves and tuck them in at the TJ Maxx, TK Maxx, Marshalls, that kind of stuff. So that's what this project is centered around. You can use the hashtag Ditch the Discontinue to find content creators here on YouTube as well as Instagram that are doing this project. Thank you anyone and everyone that's joined in and tried doing this project. I appreciate you. I have seen you. I'm bad at replying. I'm bad at commenting, but I see you. I see what you're doing. You guys are doing awesome. I appreciate you. But without further ado, I this update, this finale is a couple weeks past when I would like to have filmed it. Like normally I film these at the very beginning of the month. However, there was some products that I was determined to finish up before this update went live. And we met some goals, y'all. We met some goals. So I'm just going to dive down my list. If you're new um, over here, I have the uses, total uses, grams used, total grams used. All of that is usually over here in this general area. Um, and we're just going to start from what I've had in the longest to like what has made its way in the most recent. So the first item that we have to talk about is probably my most exciting empty, not the most exciting, but one of the most exciting empties that I've had in this project. And that is this guy here. This is a blush by Bare Minerals and y'all, she is completely used up. I ended up taking the sifter, like some of these older style Bare Minerals. Oh gosh, I'm not going to be able to do it easily now. These older style Bare Minerals ones that don't have the sifter that like clicks and locks to lock the powder in. Um, the sifter comes out of this portion and you can use the product in its entirety. So that is what I did. Um, this was a very, very pink, like bubblegum pink kind of blush. And it was not my favorite, but I did want to just like scoot her on out of my collection. I had very pink cheeks for the past couple months and I did not enjoy it as much as I liked the previous blush that we panned earlier this year. Um, but this makes my total blushes used in this project, my total completed blushes for 2021 too. I believe that's how many we used last year too. So like if I use loose blushes, we can finish two of them in a year, which is very exciting. Um, that one had so, I used that I didn't use it at the very beginning of the year, like in the middle, like the warmer months, but I used it in like the very early months and then the very tail end of the year, just those cooler months of the year is when I like to use like the much more like pinched cheek kind of color. So we used her up in that capacity and I'm so excited that we use that blush up. I'm so excited about that. The next item that we have is probably my most neglected in this project. It's been in here the, I want to say the entire year and I just struggle. I struggle reaching for it so often. I am wearing it today. There is a tiny bit of product left that I will try to use up before the end of the year. Probably not because there's not that much of the end till the end of the year, but it is what it is. That is this guy. This is my Tarte Tartist Clay Play Liner in the shade Bronze. I struggle reaching for this. And I think that it's just, I struggle reaching for these kind of containers versus like a liquid liner, even my loose shadows that I can create into a liquid liner. This is just thicker. I just don't like the consistency as much as I like some other formats that I do my wing gel liners. Um, I can mix a primer with some scraped eyeshadow or like loose eyeshadow and it creates like a beautiful gel consistency. Whereas this is just like, this is old and thick and just kind of like not it anymore for me. So I used it today as my wing liner. I use it sometimes most often as an eye base. Like I'll mix this with either my primer or my glitter primer or an eyeshadow and like tuck it on the lid and like blend other shadows on top of it. That's how I got the bulk of like the product used up, but the majority of uses were probably as a wing liner. But 
there's a tiny bit left. I probably have like, if I was going to do this as an eye base, I probably have three days left of product, maybe two, but no matter what, by the end of the year, this is getting decluttered because I just don't reach for her at all. So the next product actually come or was in this kind of format and I scooped out, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, I scooped out all of the product that I feasibly could out of this thing and I ended up putting it in a magnetic like eyeshadow pan that is now living in this physician's formula. Very broken butter bronzer compact like this thing is seen some better days but I it's a product that I don't see a whole lot of progress on the daily, but then I looked back at the videos and man, I made a ton of progress this month. So here are the clips of like what it looked like, but this is what we're looking like now for this. Like that pan has expanded like crazy. So I am very happy about the progress that I made in this. Um, Initially, when I said that I was probably going to scoop it out and put like the in a pan, I didn't mean that I was going to scoop like into the component to like take extra product out. So really, this is more product than I had initially anticipated working on in this. I was only going to focus in until it got to like the plastic and then like be fine with it. But I scooped all of it out and now I'm committed. <laughs> Now I'm committed to it, so there is that. So we didn't finish it, which was the ultimate goal in this project, but I still think that I made a ton of progress on it and I'm very happy with the work that I did put into it. Um, I think what I'm gonna end up doing with this is mix a little bit of the e.l.f. cream contour palette with this, like the concealer-y kind of shade, because this is a very jarring color, like it can go overboard very quickly, and I'm never gonna use that concealer shade in the contour palette, so I figure why not mix them together, um, and then maybe next year I can finish her off, but that is the Lippy Sticks in TGIF, if I didn't say it already, um, I don't know the weights. All that is going to be up there normally is. You you guys know the drill with my project pans. Then another product that is an exciting one is this guy. This is my Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby or the Kilowatt Highlight in Hustler Baby. Um, I'm going to show you the pictures of like where it was initially, what it was looking like, all that jazz. And now we are looking like this. This is a completely empty pan. Man, that is so shiny. So I ended up um, repressing this last update. Um, I mixed a little bit of my Becca Moonstone highlight with it just because I it was a little bit too, too jarring on the cheeks for me. And I just needed a little bit of something to like sheer it out. And the formula, as it kind of got thinner and thinner in here, the formula almost seemed to change from like a powder to like almost like a cream to powder kind of consistency. And it was a little bit difficult to pick up on a brush and everything. So mixing a little bit of Moonstone with it, I think helped a little bit. However, I ended up finishing this when I went to Florida. Like I got more color on me than I was previously. And we just went a little hard with the highlight. Um, I used it as an eyeshadow. I used it as a cheeks. Um, there is a cheek highlight as like a body highlight, like on days when I was wearing like a tank top, like a thinner tank top, I just chucked it everywhere and we finished her up and I'm so happy about this. So we finished a highlight this year. We hit pan on a, a totally separate highlight earlier this year. So I feel like it was a pretty successful year for highlights and pro my project this year in general, I feel like was pretty darn successful, which is always a good sign. Like I picked the right products for me. Now, total segue or total opposite of the right product. I This is the to was a total wrong product to put in here. And that was my Super Goop CC Cream in Fair Light. I, this used to be like my perfect shade match because I never saw the sun. When we lived in the apartment or when we lived in apartments, I never saw the sun. I just like didn't go outside. I didn't care to, like it was fine. Now that I live in a house and we have a backyard and I have a dog and we go outside all the time and we just like play outside, we take walks, we do all of that. I've been outside and I get obviously a little more color no matter how much sunscreen I slather on my skin. I still get color. Um, this is just far too light for me. Um, I'm going to really do my darndest to try to finish this off before the expiration, which is May of 2022. Um, 
I don't think I will really be able to like completely finish it off, but I will really give it the college try. Um, it's not a completely full product. Like it's definitely got some use out of it. I didn't reach for it though. Like I haven't reached for this in a couple months. I don't even know when I put it in. I put this in in April and I used it in May, June. I attempted to use it like a couple times in July and it was way too light. So it's just, this is not the best product for this time of year for me apparently, or maybe in at all anymore. So the color is just not the right one for me. And that's fine. This still exists. They just reformat, formulated or like repackaged and came out with more shades. So like this is discontinued in this packaging and it has more shades now. So that was like my rational thinking behind that one. But not rational in terms of like, am I going to use it in this project? Yes or no? The answer was no. Um, <clears throat> something I finished today and I was super excited. I thought I was finished with it last night and then I like re-looked at it today and that is this guy. This is my Bare Minerals Loose Eyeshadow in Nude Beach Matte. This was the limited edition thing like an embarrassing amount of time ago because I in my head, like these Bare Minerals eyeshadows don't really go bad. They don't irritate the eye. They always look great. Like that, they just have a very long shelf life if you store them correctly. Um, but this guy is done. This was just a very light nude neutral color. Um, almost a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but it made a really great like blending out shade. Like if I got a little hot and heavy in the crease, I could take a bit of that and like sheer or like blend my crease work out and make it look more seamless than it was, especially if I got like a little wild and up there with my colorful eyeshadows. This was really nice to kind of tame it down. Um, we're done. There's not much I can really say about it. I like to keep these kind of containers because I mix um, my, if I'm mixing like eyeshadow, like if I'm scraping off eyeshadow out of a palette and putting it into like a jello eyeliner consistency, I like to scrape a little bit off and like mix it in this and then clean this out like after the use. So I will keep this container, but that, that was a long winded way to say I'm going to keep the container. Wow. The next product was a very, I had really high hopes that I would use this product more and I just didn't. And that is my P. Louise base in Yes A Yellow. This color is discontinued. The bases are not, but this color is. Um, this is a very, very, like, it is very true to, like, the yellow that it is. I was going to say, like, a mustard yellow. Like, like the ketchup and mustard kind of yellow, not, like, a mustard yellow. Anyway. Wow. I am going on like tangents today, but I ended up using this a couple times. I like to use it to either mix with my, um, again, my eyeshadows to create like the gel liner. That's how I got a lot of the use out of this. I can use this as a cream blush. I can use it obviously as its intended purpose, which is an eye base. Um, but for the most part, I have been mixing it with my eyeshadows to create like a gel like consistency, especially, um, I like it with a couple shades out of my subculture palette, which is my pan that palette update coming later this month or like soon, like it's coming soon. It's coming soon guys. But I like this for that, but I just, I had to reach, I wanted to reach 50 uses and I definitely didn't get there. We're like halfway there ish. Maybe you'll know it's up there. <laughs> the next product was this, and this house is my Stila stay all day. No, my Stila shimmer and glow in the shade Pigale. And guys, I just don't reach for this. It's partly because of the fact that it's like super dried out and it's a little inconvenient to wear. But I panned other ones like this and did I did the exact same thing. I think it's just the color of this one. I am just so not interested in this like cranberry kind of color. And I have eyeshadows in this color. So I have absolutely zero desire to use this. And that's kind of where I have been struggling. So I could use this mix with my, I can mix it with the P. Louise base, any of them, or the, like a glitter primer and create a nice, beautiful base. But I just don't like this color that much to want to justify wearing it as a base like that. So I'm actually going to be decluttering this. I have a couple other of the Stila Shimmering Glows that I want to work through. I just, I have... I have zero, zero desire to use this color. Like, I just don't like to wear those kinds of shades that much. So I don't need it in a inconvenient format 
to do what it's intended to do. Like there are a couple of these where I will I will work past the annoyance of using them this way because they're so pretty and beautiful and like do something on the lids. This isn't one of them. So I am going to be decluttering this. It is not going to live in my collection any longer. And that is that. The next item is a pretty, it's not where I wanted to go with the product, but I made so much effort into this. So that is this guy here. This is my dose of colors. Um, I believe it was a satin matte lipstick. They are discontinued. Obviously this whole project is discontinued products, but they no longer have these and I'm so sad about it, but it's one of my all time favorite colors. And you're going to see the shots of like what they looked like the past couple months since it came in. But this is what we are looking like now. My goal was to get it like at or below the component. Like this can go up more, but it can't come down any further than where it is. Um, I'm going to actually count this as a successful item in this project because I just wanted to get more love out of this. It was something that I never reached for because I love it so much and I knew that I couldn't get it again, which is like the, I say it time and time again, it's the silliest way to think I do it all the time and I feel like I can't be the only one that's like if I love something so much I don't want to use it because I don't want it to go away which is so dumb like I spent money on this and it goes bad use it use it so long story short I ended up making some really good progress with it and to the point where there's not that much left of product in this so I didn't finish it, but I feel very successful in this project with the work that I did with this. So I am very happy with this and I, I'm going to continue to love and enjoy reaching for it. It's a color that I can wear with almost like any look. It doesn't matter to me if it doesn't really go because I love the color so much. So I'm like, who cares? It's just for me. So who really gives a hoot? And then the last item comes from this. Um, it's a Tarte Magnetic palette, but this houses my Depotted Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. And <clears throat> I did ask, I did ask you guys over on my Instagram, like what shade to pick. Like I had like polls and everything going up of like, what shade do you want me to, to use in this project? And then you guys voted and really helped me decide which one. Um, however, it wasn't the one that I wanted to work on. And we're going to get to that. So the color that we had was the shade Glory, which is a beautiful, like bronzy gold kind of shadow. It didn't have pan. The goal was to hit pan. Y'all, we did. We hit that shiny, beautiful pan. I ended up really liking this with a product that was in my deck of panning. It was a purple shadow called Fluff. I liked them paired together. I'm holding it like this as if it's like in my fingers, but it was, um, I liked them paired together. I liked the gold and that purple really paired nicely. And that is how I ended up hitting pan in both of those shadows actually. So kudos to that. Um, the shadow that I wanted, like just, this is totally like irrelevant, but the shadow I wanted to work on was Scream and I did end up hitting pan, um, a couple, like a couple days ago at this point. Um, this is the shadow that I wanted to work on and I hit pan on it. So I hit pan in two shadows in the month, which is always exciting. And now this is what my Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette looks like. If anyone is curious, we finished two shadows off this year. We hit pan in the green, this purple, these three like warm tones down here, this and this. So we're over halfway done of panning this depotted palette. Um, and I'm going to continue to make some effort on it throughout next year. And I'm excited about that. This is a palette that I kind of wanted to like eventually see myself use up. And I've been kind of like doing it in these kinds of projects. Like I'll focus on one shade to like finish up. So I have been enjoying using that in that capacity. All right. So I, I did not plan this, but it's kind of like a nice number. So out of 21 products, I had no idea I focused on 21 products in this project. And that's like pretty like kudos to me because it's 
like most people do like 20 and 2020 or 21 and 21, that, that kind of stuff. I ended up working on 21 products, which is pretty, pretty impressive that I did like had no idea, but I ended up hitting goal or completing or doing whatever. I hit goal in 14 out of 21 eyeshadows. So that's over half, which is, so that's really awesome. In my opinion, I'm pretty floored that I ended up hitting goal in that many. And I'm really excited about where I came this year. I had no idea and no, like come April, I kind of was like over makeup and like over panning for a while. And I was like, I'm not going to make any progress. And I'm just kind of like burnt out to hitting goal in 14 products. I finished so much this year. Like I can't wait to show you guys like my inventory and like my like empties, but I'm really freaking excited about what I accomplished this year. Um, and to wrap everything up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me in my like vanishing acts that I've done like on and off throughout this year. It's been very hectic with like getting the dog, like going back into the office, navigating everything that's going on and now coming to like starting a new job that's like three times the commute that I had. Like I come home and I'm like completely exhausted from like this new endeavor and then my it just it's a lot. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me and bearing with me throughout this like transition this year. Um, I'm hoping to come back strong in 2022 and rounding this year off. Obviously, like you are going to be seeing some videos come up uh, the next couple or the next week or so. So yeah, I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane and safe and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.